Okay, let's talk about these function machines. So I set up this function machine here, and I'm going to call it the add 8 to x function machine. So add 8 is going to be the name of my function machine, and x just means that you're going to take some number and add 8 to it. The way that you guys are used to seeing this is you're used to seeing that written like this, x plus 8 but I just wrote this in a fancy way. Now, in your book, instead of calling it add 8, because, you know, mathematicians are kind of lazy, I guess, <laughs> they just put an F there. So it's some function, happens to be add 8, and it takes some number, and it adds 8 to it. So that's the name of the function. So if I put in a 5 for x, that means that I took 5, and I added 8 to it. And when I got the answer out, it would be a 13. So what comes out of the function is a 13. So you send a 5 in, and a 13 comes out. So if you look at problem 170 from your review preview problems, you will see a whole bunch of those. And what we can do is if you pause it, if you have trouble solving, let's do... Um, a together. A, we'll do A and D together. So if you have trouble, just um, click, you know, you can pause it, you can work the problem out and see how it goes. But if you have trouble, then um, hit play and you can watch me go over it. So for 170 uh, part A, they're telling you to put in um, an 8. And they're telling you that, oh, they're wondering what comes out when you put an 8 in. So let's see, what's happening in A? Oh, the name, the function is what, what it, its job is, is to take the absolute value of whatever number you put in. And the number we're putting in is 8. So in this case, it's going to take the absolute value of 8, which is still 8. And so f of 8 would just be 8. Then in the next problem, part D, that one was a little bit trickier. So here you get a new function machine. Let me bring that down. And this function machine is called square root of x minus 5. So they're still calling it f, and they're still saying it takes just one number in. And then what it does is whatever that number is, it will take the square root of that number. So let's just do this. I mean, it'll take the square root of that number minus 5. So they tell you first to stuff a 3 in there. And they say take x and put in a 3. And so what it's going to do is it's going to take the square root of 3 minus 5. Uh-oh, that's a problem. 3 minus 5 is negative 2. And the square root of negative 2 gives you something that's not real. There is no real number. Oops, there is no real number that when I take the square root of it or multiply it by itself, I get a negative 2. So there is no square root of negative 2, so I would say no real solution. And now you can try um, B and C on your own. And uh, if you have any questions, just come on in and let me know. I'd be glad to help you out. Good luck.